Guys, we have six new hypercharges added to the game, meaning we now have a total of 49 hypercharges. So we're going to rank all of them in today's video from the worst hypercharges to five stars being the best hypercharges. So let's start. So let's start off with the one star hypercharges. These are the worst hypercharges in the game, and that's because they offer the smallest value for a hypercharge. So if you're low on coins, save your coins, guys, and avoid buying these hypercharges. We have have Charlie, Jean, Pearl, Sprout, Nanny, and the newest hypercharge for Daryl. So Daryl's hypercharge is actually really bad, guys. I've tested it out a bunch. And the problem with it is that when he uses his super, he rolls around, he throws shotguns, he sprinkles damage, 600 damage around the map. But the problem here is you have a chance of missing those shots. It's so insignificant. The value is so little, very little damage. But the good part of it is that those sprinkled shots do charge your super however it's very inconsistent you're gonna miss often and it doesn't charge much it charges very little and the worst part about this hypercharge is guys he gets such little boost from it he gets 25% speed increase which is nice 25% shield increase which is nice but he gets only 5% damage boost from it making it a really bad overall hypercharge guys however Daryl is a very good brawler in the meta he's an S tier brawler so you should max out your Daryl but you should probably avoid getting the hypercharge if you're low on coin. Next, moving on to the two-star hypercharges. These are much better than a one-star, but they still are very low on ratings because they don't offer that much value, unfortunately. We have Miko, we have Bell, Primo, Shelly, Ems, Angelo, Poco, Squeak, Brock, and the newest hypercharge for Stu. A lot of you guys may be surprised here. You guys are like, Stu, but his hypercharge gives you infinite supers. And that can sound really enticing and trust me it is his hypercharge is crazy it's so nice it's so great you get to sprint all around the map if you're using it with a gasoline heal star power you pretty much heal in infinitely as you're using it but here's the biggest problem with it guys it takes the longest amount of hits out of all other hypercharges to charge in fact it takes 25 hits to get a single hypercharge it's so excruciating it's so painful it takes like the entire game to even try to get one hypercharge and so this is why hypercharge for Stu is just not very good in the long run it's a really strong hypercharge don't get me wrong but it just takes an excruciatingly long time to charge making it a two-star hypercharge as for the other two-star hypercharges they're very good but problem is sometimes they take a very long to charge whereas other hypercharges like Brock's hypercharge doesn't really boost his damage much at all his super actually does less damage with hypercharge which is very funny and then you have squeaks hypercharge which can be dodged very well focus hypercharge overall not that great it does give you overheal shield it's just not that great angelo's hypercharge is very strong but the problem is because of the duration of five seconds a lot of times you're gonna drop your super and then you're charging up a max shot by the time you charge up your max shot you pretty much lost your hypercharge so there are a lot of issues with these same with miko's hypercharge you get that stun ability you get for a bell you, you can only get the marked hit on on the enemy which a lot of times you can just mark the enemy normally with your super you don't need a homing shot so these are a lot of reasons why these brawlers have two stars as their hypercharge rating now let's move on to the three star hypercharges the much better hypercharges that offer great value for all of these brawlers the only problem is that they're not very strong in this current meta we have bull colt bro jackie Maisie, bb rosa spike piper tick and the two newest hypercharges for rough and Odin. So one of the great things about Ruffs' new hypercharge is that when he drops that hypercharge, he instantly gives any of his teammates or he can give himself a hypercharge, a free hypercharge. So the best way to utilize it is with this trick. First, you drop that hypercharge boost and then you wait five seconds before picking it up because after your hypercharge goes away and you pick up his boost, guess what happens? You get your hypercharge back. So when you get another super, you can drop another their hypercharge boost and instantly give one of your teammates a hypercharge and give them the super boost as well so you have two things going you got the boost and you got the super boost or the instant hypercharge for your teammate it's a very powerful ability the only problem with this one is that it takes a very long time to get Ruffs takes a total of eight hits to charge this hypercharge and so it can be very long and excruciating to get it and the other thing is yeah you're getting the hypercharge but you're kind of trading your hypercharge to give it 
specific to a teammate, right? However, it can be really good if you combine it with a brawler like Stu, because guess what? Stu. Next, we have, of course, Otis's hypercharge, which is also in the three stars. Otis's hypercharge, it kind of is redundant because he does mute the enemy for three seconds, right? But on top of that, he gives a one and a half second stun with his hypercharge. So what that means is by stunning the enemy for one and a half seconds, it essentially makes it easier for Otis to finish off that brawler, especially because he also gets a pretty big 25% boost to his damage. The best thing about this is if you basically stun and you mute that enemy with his hypercharge super, you can kill it and you can get your super back. You can cycle it back pretty quickly. So it's a very good hypercharge, just not game changing, unfortunately. Now we're moving on to the four star hypercharges, the much stronger hypercharges. I really recommend spending your coins on these hypercharges as well as the five star hypercharges that we're going to mention soon. Starting off with Buzz, Cordelia's Fang, Jesse, Max, Nita, Tara, Edgar, Colette, and now the two new hypercharges for Penny and 8-Bit, guys. 8-Bit's hypercharge is so good, guys, because what it does is when he plants that booster, his booster turns into basically a Jesse turret. It shoots damage, 230 damage per hit. That is going to be really good against assassins and tanks, pretty much shutting them down being an 8-Bit because you also get a damage boost when you're standing in his booster. So this is going to make 8-Bit an amazing counter to those assassins and tanks and the best part about this hypercharge is not the effect guys but the boost because it gives you a 26% speed boost and a 25% damage boost for 8-bit two of the best boosts that you can ask for for 8-bit who's very slow right so this is a perfect hypercharge boost for 8-bit and then we have penny's hypercharge now penny's hypercharge is also really good guys four stars here because what it does is it shoots two of those cannonballs instead of of one every time with its hypercharge order, right? When you drop Penny's turret, it's permanently placed, especially when you hypercharge a hypercharge turret, two cannonballs permanently on the map. If the enemy doesn't have a good way to destroy it, when you drop it behind a wall, like if they don't have a wall breaker or a thrower, well, you can dominate the game quite easily. And on top of that, you can combine it with her gadget. And what it does is you can now constantly summon a bunch of double cannonballs with Penny's mortar, making it a very powerful hyper charge guys along with these all other four star hypercharge brawlers a big reason they're very good is because they're also very good in the meta whereas a brawler like fang and edgar may not be very good in the top tier meta but their hypercharge offers so much value fang's hypercharge obviously goes through walls you got edgar's hypercharge that you know uh cycles his super very quickly so he can constantly spam it and use multiple one of them on top of that fang's damage boost from his hypercharge empowers his fresh kick star power a lot of these hypercharges guys in this four star list are just so strong now moving on to the five star hypercharges the best hypercharges in the game that i really recommend investing your coins in if you have coins go for these hypercharges because they are not just meta but they also offer so much value when you use that hypercharge unfortunately none of the six new hypercharges are five star worthy but we have gale one of the best brawlers in the meta hypercharge is so strong goes through walls deals with so much damage it's utterly one of the best hyper charges in the entire game and then dynamite's hypercharge allows you to cycle his hypercharge super and you can get multiple supers completely team wiping enemies so powerful rico's hypercharge of course goes all around the map everywhere it's so insane frank's hypercharge huge area of control with it and it stuns everyone in that area he charges it very quickly too he's a very fast charging hypercharge so you can get so many hypercharges in the game with it and then you have leon's hypercharge one of the best hypercharges because he remains invisible while he's attacking the enemy and best part is he can get his super back he can cycle supers this way making it one of the deadliest hypercharges in the game and then we have lose hypercharge you drop your super you instantly freeze the enemy in that huge icicle you can freeze anyone and you can constantly chain it such a powerful hypercharge and he charges it very fast as well especially if you use a super gear with it and then sandy's hypercharge oh my goodness it encompasses so much of the map with it and when you encompass it, you mute the enemy for a bit. And on top of that, everyone inside that sandstorm, you and your teammates are all going to get a speed boost. It's an amazing, it's the best support hypercharge in the game. And then we have Mortis's hypercharge, another game-changing hypercharge. It's one of the deadliest top three hypercharges in the game because of its chaining ability. Mortis does double attack, double heal with this 
Mortis hypercharged super. If you guys ever fought against the hypercharged Mortis, you know what I mean. He can change supers, deal mass amount of damage, go for team wipes. So one commonality you can see with all of these hypercharges is many of them have team wipe potential like crazy. They can take out an entire enemy team. And then finally we have Surge's hypercharge. Can't forget about that. Tier four. And then when you use his hypercharge, you turn to tier five. There's no escaping his hypercharge attack, guys. So much damage in that form, and he can constantly cycle his super as well. So powerful in that final form. So there you guys have it. The complete ranking of all hypercharges in the game from one star to five stars. Make sure to invest your coins on the four star and five star hypercharges because they are the most game changing and best value hypercharges in the entire game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in until the next Brawl Stars video. I'll see you guys until then. Take care.